Here we have a simple ionic application that's using capacitor to take a picture. This works well when deployed as a capacitor application. We are using the capacitor camera plugin and we have a function that's going to call capa capacitors camera dot get photo and pass some information and then add that photo URL to this variable. In our template, we have a button to take that picture that's going to call that function and we have an image tag that's going to show that picture. Since it's a lot faster to test on the web, we would want this functionality to also work on the web so that we can run our application locally and see all of our changes. But when you try to call camera.getphoto on the web, first you get an error that says unable to load a PWA camera model and it defaults to the file picker. But we are in luck. Some capacitor plugins, such as the camera, have a web based UI available when you are not running natively. For example, calling this camera.getphoto should load a responsive view to take pictures in your device. For that, there's a package that the Ionic team created. We are going to go to our terminal and we are going to install ionic pwa elements once that's installed we are going to serve our application again and now we are going to go to enable pwa elements in our main ts file here we have to do two things first we are going to import defined custom elements from the pwa elements loader and then after the platform has been bootstrapped or the application has been bootstrapped, we are going to call that function define custom elements and we are going to pass the window. And when we click on take picture, you see that it's now using my laptop's camera to take the picture. And now I can see that picture being used on screen. This helps make things a lot faster because now you can locally test your whole application instead of having to build it natively to be able to test those functionalities. If you want to know which capacitor plugins have that option available, you just have to go to capacitors documentation and whatever the plugin it is that you want to use in the contents, you're going to look for PWA nodes. And then it's going to tell you if it has PWA elements for this plugin to work on the web.